That could have gone better. Uh, I think she cracked a rib. Or three. Hey, how'd it go with Finn? Not great. You still at my place? I'm actually at home. My parents get back next week, so I thought I'd clean. But I could come back. Nah, it's okay. I'll call you later. <sighs> now what? Hey, Uncle Aaron. I need, um... I need some advice. About what, exactly? Just... everything. Are you free? I can wrap up what I'm doing. Call you in a few. Thanks, man. Talk to you soon. I have no idea where Finn is, or the new form. Guess I should kill some time till Uncle Aaron's free. I gotta call you back. Oh. Aye, Miles. Spill it. Give me the whole situation. Finn, rocks on, underground. It's just a lot, you know? You're 17, you're stressed, and you're a superhero. You gotta cut yourself some slack. You still making beats? Not much since I started this. Work-life balance, kid. Most important thing. Here. Little project your dad and I started back in the day. Our mixtape. Had rhymes ready and everything. <laughs> How come I never heard about this? Because we never finished. We sampled street noise around the way. Wanted the city to be our beat. But your dad had the masters. And after things went bad between us... <sighs> but you can finish what we couldn't. Plus, it'll take your mind off work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what do I do? Load that up. I'll walk you through it. I'll set up holograms to guide you. Scan the source. Holograms, huh? You still in my moves? <laughs> this was in my playbook before you were even born, young blood. Okay, don't think about Finn. Focus on sounds. Clear my head. Scan the holograms and it'll unlock files on that drive I gave you. Help you figure out which sound you're looking for. Try moving in a little closer. That's it. Oh, dope. Mm. Not now. Hey, get some you like? <laughs> yeah, really unique dynamics. See, old man still knows his stuff. <laughs> and you were right about clearing my head, too. I know what to do about Finn. I gotta see her. Try to talk her out of all this. In person? Where? Trinity Church. Tomorrow night. Why so interested? Because you got a target on your back the size of Jersey. You don't have to protect me. Someone should. <sighs> you know, you said you never finished this tape because of how things went bad between you and Dad. What actually happened between you two? It was... Complicated. We were too similar and too different. <sighs> Finish the tape, get all the samples, and you'll hear the whole story. Promise. All right. Thanks, Unc. <gasps> Trinity Church. Remember, Tinker is yours, but leave the boy alone. Man, I needed that. 
I was beat. Okay, I'm gonna call Finn. As soon as I'm ready to go. Who doesn't love an ohm meter? Nobody. That's who. Mom? Genki? Anyone home? I think it's just me. Mom's room's starting to look like Mom's room. Mom's killing it. No way she's gonna lose. Bathroom's been a little crowded with me, Mom, and Genki all here. Bridge attack didn't slow Mom down at all. I'm not careful. Genki's gonna turn into Mom's sidekick. Kinda nice to have the apartment to myself. Hard to think of Ma as a little kid. Well, it's still getting mail here. Got to forward it to her. I wish you were still here, Rick. Me and Finn could definitely use your advice. <sighs> Things were a lot simpler back then. Glad my gear survived the move. Dad and I fell asleep listening to this sound every night when we were kids. It's got a good beat. Okay. Something rhythmic that was around when Dad and Uncle Aaron were little. All that swinging must be tiring. Not this way. You probably don't know this, but your dad and I grew up not far from here, before we moved to Brooklyn in high school. Hearing the clatter of the wheels, the squealing when the trains turn or stop, always makes me think of me and your dad's late night talks. Mostly about what we wanted to be when we grew up. I wanted to be a space alien. Your dad's dream changed. Doctor, firefighter, social worker. But he always wanted to help people. Yeah. Sounds like Dad. Spider-Man can't stay to chat, Spidey. Too much to I've do. Had enough of being cold. Yo, keep doing what you do. <laughs> Happy holidays, Spider-Man. Have a good one. Oh, I gotta get out of here. One of one. Mom lived here right after college. You know that? She and your dad were dating. Three of us spent a lot of time here. We got used to this soft, steady beat. Soft beat. Yeah, it's 
subtle, but a good beat. Things were good back then. Felt like they'd be good forever. Your mom got her first gig as a teacher. Your dad was new to being a cop, and I just started calling myself prop. I figured we all kept secrets about our jobs. But lastly, your dad's job and mine crossed paths too often. Man, Uncle Aaron, if you would have been anything else, my mom and dad would have supported you all the way. People aren't cut out to be superheroes. Ain't no shame in that. This one was all your dad's idea. You need something that's always in this part. Quiet on their own. Loud in a group. Loud in a group? Uh... Hmm. Dad, record this. Is he a pigeon whisper? This was way back, before high school. We were hanging in the park one day, and someone dropped a hot dog. You know how that goes. Place was swarming with pigeons. But Dad stopped cold. He said, Aaron, man, that's music. Listen. Next day, we were crawling all over Manhattan looking for beats. Like you are now. I remember the first time they showed me how to sample. Uncle Aaron had the gear, and Dad had the ear for music. This is a good one. Me and your dad used to hang around here. Listen while the whole station came alive. That's what you need. Something at the station. New suit? Oh, that's good. And I'm a bad guy. I think hanging around here is how your dad got the idea to be a cop. I said, man, you're not uptight enough for that job. He wanted to make so things sour, better man. from the inside. All these people keep forgetting. Pretty sure he died trying. So you did make things better, Dad. And so will I. Real scary with nothing around that bridge. Makes you wonder what else they got planned. Hey, well, whatever. Bye. How old stick, right? I hate to bother you, but... <laughs> Have fun with this one. I had a repeat client I always met with. Got real used to waiting. Listen, hearing this sound running on a tight schedule. A sound on a schedule? Oh, dope. Fairy horns. That's right. The client I met here used to take a ferry over from Jersey. Work for him was good money. Until he got busted. He's how your dad found out about the problem. I think it was me that a thief was making it big in New York, and your dad volunteered for the case. I could feel him closing in. I had to try and guess which would be worse. I told him, but he caught me. That'd have been me. I. I don't know what I'd do. That can't be the only reason Dad cut him off. Not if he fessed up. It just wasn't Dad. This plaza and the blocks around it are alive with sound. 
one you're looking for is light, distinct. Light, huh? Okay. I was on the train home, and Spider-Man was in my car. No way. The Spider-Man? Yeah. Wind chimes. That sounds good. This plaza is where I had my first job. I was fresh out of high school then. Didn't have the gear or the mask. Guy paid me to mug his boss. Rough him up and take everything he want. The dad found out. He stood under those wind chimes yelling at me for an hour. He never told our folks. He made me promise I'd stop stealing. Wish I kept my word. You deserve better. I wish you had too. Maybe you and dad would have stayed close. I can't imagine ever turning my back on my family. This sound always feels like someone celebrating, even when it's just telling time. Your dad thought so too, so we had to include it. A sound that tells time. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's it. Ringing on the hour. When I hear those bells, I remember the last time I was here. Your dad had just graduated from the police academy. I didn't go to the ceremony, so I met him here after. Bought us milkshakes. Strawberry for him, peanut butter for me. I don't know why I remember that. He said he couldn't cover for me anymore if I got in trouble. I told him I was done with that life. I was lying, but he believed me for a while. Or at least pretended to. Man, things are complicated between them. Spider-Man saves the holidays. Thank you so much. I wasn't sure how I'd stop. Happy to help. Times Square. Easy to find someone in the crowd here, or lose them. Sounds you need's like an electric current. A current? I could cheat it with venom. <laughs> nah. I think it's back there. First client right under this sign. Neon flags hard to miss, and the crowd makes it easy to blend in. She wanted me to steal a painting. I looked across the square and saw your dad looking back at me. He never said anything, just turned and left. He didn't know everything, just that I was a thief. But that was enough. I think he saw where we were headed long before I did. If he would have tried to act right sooner, he would have forgiven you. I know he would have. Hey, young blood. You got almost everything you need for the trap. You just unlocked the spot where you could find the last piece. Hope it works for you. Spot in Harlem. Wonder what the last piece is. 
I gotta admit, you, like, call the other Spider-Man Spider for help. Uh, whole not bridge broken, explosion? Seems no. like you're in over here. Must be nice to not have hey, to take Spider -Man. the call. Hey, Spider-Man. Happy holidays. See you, Spider-Man. Subway tunnels. Hey, Dana fans. For the last few weeks, Harlem has had a hideout. series of bad breaks. The attack on CJ Walker Park, to name one. Spider Man intervened to protect the neighborhood, but he didn't do it alone. I'm here with Genki Lee, the Harlem local who helped Spider Man save the neighborhood. It felt really good to help people out. Even better when we found out Wilson Fisk was behind it. Shutting him down is a career highlight for me. And Spider Man. <laughs> I bet. How did you guys stumble on the conspiracy? by talking to people in the neighborhood. They were all looking out for each other, which helped us look out for them. Teo, Caleb, Camila, Haley, Steph, Gloria, if you're listening, thank you. I checked with Wilson Fisk's parole officer who confirmed the big guy is under tighter security and will likely get some time tacked onto his prison sentence. Genki and everyone in Harlem, thanks for looking out. Till next time, friends, remember to change your toothbrush every three months. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm kind of jealous of his lair, the lab, the basement thing. Always making upgrades. I definitely got my suit patching skills from Uncle Aaron. Uncle Aaron's got tabs all over the city. He must have been building his network for years. My mom bought him this at a flea market. It was a joke about... Uh, can't remember. Sequencer? Sampler? Vintage? Oh, has to be him and dad's equipment. was always way better at guitar than me. He used to come to our place for dinner all the time. Guess he never learned to cook. Maybe I should take a few swings. Nah, I'd probably break it. Use the sounds. Lock? Something new every day. Hey, kid. Hope the suit fits. You asked why me and your dad stopped talking. He was investigating the prowler. It led him to my clients, people like Simon Krieger, Wilson Fisk. Dad couldn't afford to make enemies like that. Not with you and Rio in the picture. So I told him. Hoped he'd back off, and he did. For good. He didn't want me around. He didn't want you to turn out like me. Hope this suit helps you be better. Take care, Spider-Man. Thank you, Uncle Aaron, for everything.